Hey everyone, if you received the recent changes from Gmail and Yahoo regarding the new email policies, you're in the right place. Today we'll go through an easy solution setup to make sure that your marketing emails stay secure and uninterrupted. So starting from February 1, 2024, Google and Yahoo decided to make these changes and implement them. Uh, let's dive into the step-by-step -step process and see how to get your emails compliant so your emails are uninterrupted and secure. Okay, so you're gonna have to open up three tabs here. One of them would be the Shopify tab. The other one would be Easy DMARC. Uh, go ahead and create an account if you haven't already. And then the last one would be the DNS node because we're gonna be adding records to the DNS node. Um, let's go back into Easy DMARC now. First of all, we wanna add the domain in here. So the requirement is to have a DMARC record. So we're gonna have to go ahead and add the domain here. So the system would generate a DMARC record. There we go, this is a DMARC record. So what we wanna do at this point is go ahead and add this in our DNS zone. So the type would be CMA, and then copy and paste the host, and then go back and grab the values, paste them in here, turn off the proxy if you're using Cloudflare and save it. Now, this is a dynamic DMARC record. You also have the option to do the TXT version in case you're interested, but I'll go ahead and do this. Once it's added, it's going to take a couple of minutes for Cloudflare to propagate the record and then we can verify it on our side. That's going to be all the changes that we're going to do uh, when it comes to adding a DMARC record. Now, by default, you're gonna start with the none policy, which is monitoring. Uh, you're gonna collect the reports. It's gonna be parsed on your dashboard and that's where your journey starts with DMARC. You wanna start configuring things, making sure all the widget flow are configured fully. Now, a requirement also is SPF and DKIM alignment. So with the Shopify, we're gonna find those under the settings notifications you're gonna have your uh, mailbox added in here already so it's gonna say authenticate your domain let's go ahead and click on this and this is gonna provide us with a couple of CNN records we're gonna have to add every single one of these so let's go ahead and get started let's just start copying things at the type of CNAME paste it in the host field here so copy and paste turn off proxy save so that's one let's go ahead and give a second proxy save let's go ahead and do the third any record that says domain key it's going to be the DKIM record, save it, then the last one in here is going to be USB. Okay, now before I authenticate this, again, it's going to take a couple of minutes. If I go back into EasyDMark, let's try verifying it. Okay, this is good. It's a success. All right, we just have to wait 48 hours, up to 48 hours to the reports to be uh, parsed and displayed in our dashboards. But for Shopify, we just click on authenticate domain and then, all right, it's going to take up to 24 hours to authenticate in here as well. So once it is done, you're going to have both SPF DCAM alignment and a DMARC record, which makes it compliant with all the email authentication policies for Google and Mail. Once you've set up DMARC with Easy DMARC, you're going to start monitoring your reports with our user friendly and smart dashboard. Thanks for tuning in. If this was helpful, let us know. Leave us a like and subscribe for more tips and tricks. Stay safe and thanks for watching.